gang, Doug here at Iron Village. Uh, okay, today's the first of the two little groups, um, circuits that I'm gonna show you for this uh, rock climbing piece. Uh, you're gonna be familiar with most of these movements, there's just a couple little twists just to make them a little bit more sport specific to, to rock climbing. And, and one big thing with that, of course, is, is gonna be grip strength, um, which I discussed in the piece. Uh, so any sort of pulling movement is super important, of course. Again, you're pulling, you're holding yourself up uh, on the rock. So one little twist I love, we'll get right into this first little group. So the way this routine works is the first three movements that I'm gonna show right now are all with the total gym, and then I'll show you um, the second uh, circuit with just a pair of dumbbells. So you don't need much equipment-wise. Uh, if you're watching this video and reading these, these articles here, most likely you have a total gym or access to one. Uh, so all you need is a pair of dumbbells for the second piece uh, for this workout. So to get right into it, the first movement is going to be a pull-up. Most of us are familiar with that. Uh, to make it a little bit more challenging, uh, a little bit more specific, I added, I don't know if you can see in the camera there, well, just two basic towels. Uh, and of course you don't need these. I'm just going to show you, again, just some, some variations. Uh, and by holding the towels instead of the handles, we've, we've created more of a grip challenge, uh, which will help, of course, with the finger strengthening, uh, forearms as well. Uh, so just that grip endurance uh, <clears throat> uh, component. So to do that movement, everything else is the same as a regular pull up. I like to line up the shoulders with the top of the board, grab the, hand, uh, the towels here, and everything else is the same. So I've got that firm grip now the entire time, which is gonna start taxing the grip strength. Okay, so that's option one there uh, for the first exercise. If you wanna even take it a step further, I've got the medicine ball here. We add that squeeze, so I've got it just between the ankles, okay? <clears throat> between the feet there. When I squeeze, just holding the ball, I've activated a lot of adductor muscles, inner thigh muscles there, even activate the core a little bit more. So <clears throat> when I go in to do my pull up, I've got the towels for the top part of the body, I've got the squeeze here, okay, to activate the lower part of the body. Now we've got everything working a little bit. And if you've ever, Climb rocks before, inside or outside, you know it's a full body movement. So this is a great way to incorporate everything. Uh, when you're hanging on that rock, <clears throat> you definitely use the adductors. You use a lot of smaller muscles you didn't even know you had. So this is, again, a great way to kind of incorporate all those smaller intrinsic muscles throughout the body. So this is the first exercise here. The towel pull up. And again, you can use either of these two variations or additions or neither, depending on your level, okay? Uh, so the first one we'll get in, uh, second exercise, sorry, we'll get into, once you complete your 10 reps there, take the handles off, take the towels off. Not that we need, so I'm going to lower this down a little bit. So that's a bit more of a, obviously, an upper body specific movement. We're going to go into a lateral lunge now here. So we're going to set up here, the side of the board. I'm going to add the ball as well. So just like I said, <clears throat> I want to incorporate as much of the body as possible with these movements. So we can do our lateral lunge here. So this is option one, okay? So foot on the board, leg on the board stays straight. I slide it on out to get that nice adductor stretch. And I'd like to try to keep ankle, knee, hip, shoulder all on a nice straight line. So I'm pushing my butt back, trying to keep my chest up as best as I can. Okay, so that's option one. If you want to add a little bit more upper body, we add a ball. It doesn't have to be heavy. This is just six pounds. <clears throat> uh, so you can bring it out, okay, to activate shoulders. Bring it on up for a little shoulder raise. So movement's the same in the lower body, but now I'm incorporating a little shoulder work as well, okay? And obviously we do both sides. I'm not going to show that here. You get the idea. Uh, and then last movement. <clears throat> We'll hit the core a little bit more, also shoulders, is the Superman, one of my favorite movements on the total gym. Uh, so if you think of what we did, pull-ups, upper body, lunge, lower body, and now we'll, we'll hit the midsection. So line up in that push-up position here, and just extend that board out while keeping integrity all the way through the spine. So if I go to the knees just for a second, this is another option, kind of a regression from the knees, but whichever, uh, Whichever variation you do, we don't want to lose integrity in the spine. So when I extend out, I don't want to go into hyperextension, which puts a lot of pressure on that low back. So really focus on keeping uh, the tummy tight, I like to say. So keep 
midsection nice and braced as you extend that bar, uh, the board sorry, out and bring it right back to neutral. So push up position to start, extend out, pull it back in. Okay, so eight of those work shoulders, quads are working too because they got to stay, stay on, but big time uh, ab exercise. So those are three great movements for everybody really, but a little added a couple of little things to make it a little bit more rock climbing specific. We got a pull up, a lunge, then a little Superman for our ab extension or anti-extension uh, exercise. Now we'll go to three uh, with the dumbbells. All right, so we just finished our circuit up with the, uh, the total gym. Now we're gonna move on to a pair of dumbbells. So again, you don't need much equipment wise uh, to get this efficient and uh, effective workout in. Uh, so the three movements with the dumbbells, first one's gonna be a squat and press. So like I said at the beginning, anytime we can incorporate the whole body, since typically rock climbing uses every single thing you've got, uh, we're gonna take advantage of that. So we're gonna do a squat and press. So I like, just for simplicity, is to keep elbows in, and palms are gonna face each other the whole time. So the back heads of the dumbbells are right near the shoulders, okay? You can perform a squat, okay? On the way up, add that press, so straight overhead, okay? Bring it back down. So you squat, everything comes down together, everything goes up together. Squat and press, all right? So we're working, obviously, legs and glutes with the squat, arms and shoulders with that press, okay? So, uh, squat and press is number one. We'll go eight reps there. Renegade row, there's a few variations of this exercise. This is a great exercise to work some core endurance and some rotary stability, and I'll explain what I mean in a second there. Um, which is very important in a lot of sports, but definitely in rock climbing as well. <clears throat> so you're basically going to be in a push-up position with your hands on your bells here, okay? And there's a couple options. We can either simply do the row part, which will be bringing the weight up to the ribs, down and alternating sides. And you can see how my hips are shifting a bit, but I'm trying to minimize that, okay? So we want to try to minimize how much we get that rocking or that shifting from side to side. We don't want it to be excessive, where I'm really kind of ripping it like this, okay? Because I'm not really working the, the quote unquote core, that midsection quite as effectively as I can. Okay, so if I slow things down a little bit, really brace here. So again, there's a slight shift, but it's minimal. It's gonna be much more effective. So that would be option one, okay? We can also do that movement where we add a push up after every set of rows, okay? So I'll do a couple just so you can see. So push up position. So row, row, push up, okay? And then repeat that for four rounds, okay? Just a little bit more challenging, so we're just adding a layer onto there, okay? Uh, <coughs> excuse me, so that's movement two. And then the last one, so those first two movements, you do eight squat and presses and four per side of that renegade row with the push up, your heart rate's gonna be up. So kind of an active rest movement will be our third movement here, or sixth movement in the whole circuit, is a grip carry. So depending on what weight you're using, I'm going really light, I already worked out today. <laughs> I'm going nice and light, a pair of 15s. You can hold the heads of the bells like this, and if you have the room, you can walk around. Uh, if you're at a gym, or you've got like a hallway at the house, just grip the heck out of these guys and go for a walk. If you're in a tight space, you can just hang out here for 30 seconds or so. And what I said at the beginning, how crucial grip strength is, this is really gonna challenge that grip strength, that grip endurance by just squeezing. And if you just keep your hands on there, so you even try to keep the palm of your hand off the bell, not here, just fingers on it. So you can still see there's space through, it's not on the palm, it's just the grip of the fingertips. That's gonna really challenge that finger strength. Uh, if you're a big strong guy and you're using a heavier weight and just can't get your hands or it's too heavy, then of course you can just hold it the regular way you're still gonna improve your grip strength this way, but it's just not as finger strength specific, if that makes sense, as holding the dumbbells uh, this way. So hopefully if you've got a, a small rack or a couple of different weights, you could maybe lighten it up and go with that, that uh, this version here where you're holding the head of the dumbbell. This is one of my favorites to work on grip endurance and grip strength. Just walk around, go down the street, your neighborhood people will look at you funny, but you'll have a stronger grip than them. 